The LG G6 was the flagship device launched by LG around a year back from the current month which is January 2018. I personally bought the G6 around 5 months back due to the amazing features and specifications offered by the device and the price cut down by LG of this device to around 30000 rupees. The phone comes with amazing dual 13MP rear cameras and a great camera interface which is packed with amazing and unique features. But one thing which is missing in the flagship according to the latest 2017 dual camera trend is of course the portrait mode. Same is the case with the LG V30 or the V30 Plus which was launched around a month back from LG. So what's up everyone this is Jitesh here from Genel Technology and in this video I'll be showing you how you can capture such amazing portraits with the background blur effect without using any other external editing app directly with a camera app. So let's get started into the video. So first of all friends what you have to do is that you have to download this app which is the GC mode 5 make sure that you don't download from any other link because i personally tried many links for around a week or so and at least 10 of those links were not working in the LG G6 because most of those links work only in the devices which support android oreo but as you all know who are the LG G6 owners that, that LG G6 has not got android oreo till now the G6 runs on android nougat so this is the app which runs on android nougat also for this smartphone I think because the smartphone has a 821 chipset the Snapdragon 821 because this camera app runs in most of the latest Snapdragon processors such as the 835 or the 821 or also in maybe the Snapdragon 820 So I will be giving you a link in the description below so download this app from that link only don't try from any other link after you download the app open this app and now give the app the all the permissions which it needs So the first thing that you will be seeing will be this camera interface. So don't do anything just disable the motion because this is the thing which you get in an iPhone. So I don't need it because it will take unnecessary memory. So I have disabled it. So the app will not run until you do these settings. So just follow me in these settings. Go into the settings page. Sometimes maybe the app will lag because we are running it in Android Nougat and not in Oreo. I installed it in the OnePlus 3 which has Android Oreo and it has Snapdragon 820 and the app runs really very smoothly. But in this case we have the Android Nougat so the app really sometimes lags and it is not that smooth but still it does the work pretty well. So now what you have to do is that you have to follow me in this steps. First of all set this to Nexus 6 Auto. Set this model to Nexus 6P. Now keep this as default. The HDR plus parameters, back camera default, burst settings advanced. We then go in advanced. Then press this HDR control plus. Press the use the decibel and also press the show dirty lens warning. I'm sorry for the little bit bad camera quality because I'm recording this with the Redmi Note 4 because my OnePlus 3 was not with me currently. So I'm recording this video with the Redmi Note 4. So these are some of the steps which you have done. The last was changing the advanced settings. So the last thing will be changing the panorama resolution into high resolution. So these were all of the steps which you just did, and this was to enable a perfect camera interface and run the app smoothly and also give you the portrait mode. Then open the portrait mode from here, and yes, you can see the app is lagging. So this will happen one or two times, but still you can see the app just launch itself again. So there will be no such thing. Yeah, you can see the portrait mode ran. Most of the time it runs 99% it will run if one or two times the app shows any error then you can just restart the app and I guarantee you it will run I am using this app since two days and it captures amazing portraits so one thing you have to keep in mind is that this doesn't works on objects this only works when it detects human faces but I can see I I took a photo of this bottle but there was not that bokeh in the background because this is the object but the same photo when I took with me and you can see here we get the background blur effect which is really very nice the phone already supports a dual rear camera so we already get the best camera quality so i'll be showing you some other pictures also you can see this photo also has the background blur you can see that the background is blur Then you can see this photo also this photo also has the great background blur effect or the portrait effect given by the app So currently the quality which you will be seeing because I'm recording with Redmi Note 4 is really very bad but if you look at the photo in real I'll attach a photo in the end of the video so you can see how good quality photos are being clicked by this app which is the GC Mode 5 This is one more photo which I clicked here and you can see the background blur effect. This is one more photo which I took near my home so you can see the background blur effect here also in the back. 
It's totally amazing and really hats off to the developers of this app. Guys, this is all in this video. Again, telling this does not works on objects. This will only work when it will detect a face in the photo. So guys, this is all in this video. If you have any doubts, any queries, then please ask them in the comment section. If you liked the video, if it was helpful for you, I guarantee you that this app will run in your LG G6 as it is running in mine and it's really clicking very great portraits. So guys, if you liked the video, then make sure to hit the like button and also please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also press the notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload the latest video on my YouTube channel. This is Shitan Mehta signing off and hope to see you again in my next video.